Why do I keep doing this to myself? I'm not sure, and after three therapists quitting on me, I don't think they're too sure either. I'm still on a mission to become the world's first prestige master in Call of Duty without any kills. When I last updated you guys, I was really struggling to even play consistently because my main Steam account was getting targeted. I couldn't even play for 5 minutes sometimes without my game being crashed by some turbo version with too much time. Now it's kind of turned a little bit dangerous, but for those who don't really know what I'm talking about or what the challenge is, let me explain. In Black Ops 3 Zombies, to become a prestige master, you need to get through 11 full prestiges that require 1,375,000 XP each to get through. Now it's a lot of experience to gain, and through lots and lots of trial and error, I realized that playing in any kind of normal way just wasn't going to work. It's like trying to cook a raw chicken by smacking it. Sure, eventually it will happen, but will the sun probably burn out before then? Also yes. So to prevent this taking literally 10 years, I had to come up with a new strategy which is hard in a game that you get most of the XP from killing zombies. And even then it's still designed to take a really long time. That's why anyone who's watched one of these before knows where I'm going. I ended up becoming absolutely best friends with doors whether I liked it or not. So opening doors in Black Ops 3 Zombies gives you 250 XP each which is a comically small amount but it's still something. You know what isn't small though? How much you would help if you liked the video and subscribe because the channel could really use it right now. Thank you so much. So I figured out that if I play Shadows of Evil where the spawn door only costs 500 points that you also start the game with, then we're in business. But on top of that, if you shoot the Shadow Man because you're jealous of his magnificent beard, then you can have up to 16,500 points before leaving the starting area. With all of those points, I would open up all of the doors on Shadows of Evil and then restart the game and do that over and over again. There are 14 doors that I can open for a total of 3,500 XP per game. That sounds pretty good until I did the entire first prestige and a half of this challenge on a PS4, where the whole process between watching cutscenes and playing the game would take four entire minutes each and every time. That means just to get past rank one, it took me almost an hour of real life time. What the fuck am I doing with my life? Eventually though, after wasting 10 real life days doing that, I switched over to PC where there are much faster load times, and by adding an extra key binding, we're able to skip the intro and outro cutscenes every game by fast restarting. That shaves off so much time that it's insane, but the gameplay itself is still taking between between 90 and 100 seconds per game. So when I'm having to play hundreds of matches per prestige, those time saves add up like those cups that I know that are stacking up on your desk right now, go take them to the kitchen. There wasn't really any other good ways of getting XP though, and I felt like I kinda hit the optimization wall, so for the next few months I just chipped away little by little at this challenge. Eventually though, I finished another 4.5 prestiges, putting us at just barely over halfway done with the overall challenge. The problem with that though was that I hadn't actually killed anything but Black Ops 3 said I killed 3 zombies somehow. And between me and you guys in the community, the best assumption that we can make is that sometimes when the map is restarting, one of the flying bugs that spawns in can sometimes be deloaded in a weird way that counts as a kill. So after that, plus the fact that literally even at 4am one time, I loaded up Black Ops 3 and within 15 seconds my game was being crashed by some virgin, the motivation just wasn't there honestly anymore. Anymore. And that's where things sat for quite a long time, or at least until recently because on an alternate Steam account I began grinding away again and now I've completed the first 27 levels on a new account, but by the time that you guys are seeing this I'll still be playing and probably at about the first prestige mark. Combining all of our stats together we've collectively completed 7 prestiges which means that we've only got 4 left. To make things even better though, I've said this before but for the finale I've got a special surprise. It's going to get me 1 million million XP in one game. That's almost an entire prestige completed in one shot, but it can only be done one time and is super risky to the entire challenge. Because it's going to require me actually playing in a way that there is zombies around and I could accidentally kill something and having a mess up that late would be absolutely devastating. If you know what I'm talking about then big ups to you and if not then you're just gonna have to watch and find out. There's also been another big development where I tried out some strategies that you guys suggested. My big run around the map 
strategy was a little slow and I saw hundreds of suggestions to just spawn in, open the starting door, and then restart. I actually tried this out for probably about 90 minutes and it feels a little slow if I'm being honest. That's probably because the load times for Black Ops 3 are a little bit jank and even with the graphics being cranked all the way down to PlayStation 1 standards, it takes like 6 seconds just to load in. And then add in another 5 seconds to run over to that door and open it to only get 250 XP. I'm not sure if there's even a minimum restart time built into the game or it's a hardware issue or whatever, but it really was just taking too long. But what I did do though is modify that thought and cut down my route drastically. Instead of going from spawn out to the canals area, circle around there, go to the waterfront area, circle around again, and then run through the footlight district, I could cut out a lot of extra running. Because between all those main areas, there's no doors being opened, and just by getting the shadow man to take me to round 10 instead of 15 and using the 6500 points that he gives me to open up the five doors in the canals area, I can cut down the time pretty well. Pretty much the entire challenge has devolved into doing this as optimally as I possibly can while trying not to lose my shit at the fact that it's been 21 months since we first started this and I'm still not done. Can't say I'm not dedicated to doing dumb shit for your entertainment. Alright, so it's probably important here to note that skipping rounds with the Shadow Man does not give you any XP at all. The only thing it does that's useful for this challenge is give me a nice piggy bank full of points, and I guarantee you that during development not a single person working on this game thought that that easter egg would be used like this. But if I do this modified strategy, I feel like I'm getting XP a little bit faster. I don't have any hard data to back it up just yet, but I do feel like it's very slightly quicker than doing the entire map. But with that said, now let's talk about some stats, because simultaneously there is a lot of them, but also at the same time a lot of them are also zeros. I'm having to splice together old footage for this because since I've been playing zombies so regularly on my PlayStation account since I did the first Prestige and a half, and my main Steam account since I did the four and a half on there, it's gonna have to be a bit mixed. But the last one you're going to be seeing is the brand new one and up to date. Our total kill count, even though every part of the game, including the individual guns and knife, tells me I didn't actually kill anything, is three. The headshots are obviously zero, and most of the other categories are as well since, you know, it would be kind of hard to fill those categories with anything if we're never killing anything at all. Where we do end up shining is obviously on the opening doors section. On the new account so far, I've opened 3,612, which already puts me in the top 8,500 players in the world. And if we added up all the accounts together, I've collectively opened 33,503 doors, and we're creeping up on 10 million total XP, being at 9.6 million right now. Here's where things are going to get weird though, I'm mostly likely going to have to switch steam accounts after this video again because since we've literally started this challenge in 2021 i've been targeted for game crashes constantly it's only really became well known recently by the community and in my break from opening doors it's been discovered that now it's possible for people to grab your ip address or put malware on your computer if they really wanted to obviously that's not very cash money for me but i also really have no other option than to actually finish all of this in online matches since there's no offline progression system. Maybe that's something a mod creator could work on, but for now, playing itself is just a huge risk for me, but I kind of have to do it. And you know what? I think that deserves a fucking like. I'm suffering already and dealing with this shit too for the sake of finishing the dumbest challenge in Zombies history. It's kind of worth your like. But that's it for today. Now you should go check out the video coming up on screen right now that I uploaded yesterday about how I think Treyarch has ruined nostalgia in Zombies by just creating way too many remasters. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye bye